Challenger 2 tanks arrive in Finland for exercise arrow. Trooper Charmaine Cochrane from the Queen's Royal Hussars explains the importance of the two-week exercise. There are still mounds of winter snow near the banks of the frozen Lake Valkyajavi at the Nirnisalo training camp in the west of Finland. But as the white dissipates into grit and dirt in the slightly rising temperatures, an array of military personnel, armored vehicles and equipment forms a steady and purposeful maneuver into the Finnish garrison. The largest of those fighting vehicles is the Challenger 2 main battle tank, belonging to the Queen's Royal Hussars, arriving to take part in Exercise Arrow. And there is plenty of interest in the vehicle from our Finnish bilateral partner soldiers who got to meet the British Army personnel during an integration day at Nianisalo. Trooper Charmaine Cochrane drives the Bulldog armored vehicle, with previous experience of driving through the wood blocks and tight spaces of training ranges in Estonia. Being in Finland is fantastic for the regiment, said Charmaine, who lives in Tidworth, has been in the army for four years and is also a qualified gunner and loader. This exercise has been in the planning for the last six months and we've never had Challenger 2 here before, so it's an exciting prospect. The Finnish soldiers have been very welcoming and taken us out to show us all their vehicles. Equally, they are very interested in our capability and how we go about our business. You get a strong sense that our allies really respect us, they respect our expertise and professionalism. Exercise Arrow is a two-week-long training exercise that aims to develop Finnish Defence Forces ground combat capabilities and the ability to operate joint fires, alongside international allies. The exercise will test and develop mechanised units operating in a multinational environment, with more than 3,000 soldiers in total taking part. There will be the US Army Europe's Cavalry Regiment Striker Armoured Fighting Vehicle, a mechanised infantry platoon from Latvia with Finnish-made Patria vehicles. The Estonian Armoured Jäger Platoon, equipped with CV-9035s, plus the Finnish soldiers using Leopard Armoured Fighting Vehicles. Charmaine said, we want to be able to operate in different climates, learn from our allies and them from us. You will always take something positive away from partner nations. It's an invaluable experience. I really enjoyed the Estonia experience because it was great for developing your skill set. Being out here in Finland is a great follow-on to that. Being deployed and being away is what it's all about. I don't think I can go three months without volunteering to go and explore, to go overseas and to work with partner nations, getting to understand their military approach and their culture. We've got a strong, core bond in the Queen's Royal Hussars and that stems from our time being based in Germany. Wing Commander Steve Boyle, UK Defence Attach in Helsinki. Said the Finnish-led bilateral exercise was an excellent opportunity for the Queen's Royal Hussars to be involved in and bring their expertise to the Pojankanga's training ranges. UK Defence Forces haven't been in Finland for a couple of years because of Covid-19, said WG Commander Boyle. But being interoperable with like-minded allies like Finland, which is one of ten joint expeditionary force nations, is pretty important and means that we can operate with each other to respond to a range of crises in world. Thank you.